Alrighty, so we are now recording. Welcome once again to our professional preparation part two of Indeed versus LinkedIn. Our part one was a resume workshop, which is also located on our YouTube channel and social media, so you can take a look there. This is part two and where we'll speak about Indeed versus LinkedIn, because sometimes we don't know how to use these two platforms and what benefits each one brings to the table, right? So my name is Myra and uh, we're going to start here, okay? And the next, this is going to be our overview. First, we're gonna go over a differentiation. So the difference between Indeed and LinkedIn. Second, it's going to be data, uh, some data with a chart. Third is going to be some tips on Indeed. We're going to focus on Indeed and then we'll, we'll go ahead and bring it over to LinkedIn and cover some tips there. And for number five, we're going to just overview, uh, have some takeaways and then leave it to open forum. If you guys have any specific questions that can benefit uh, you and others that may be watching this video um, in the future. All right, so let's start with LinkedIn. We know it's as a social media platform, right? But we need to know uh, what they specialize in. And LinkedIn is an employment related social network. So it is like social media, it is like Facebook, right? But it's not with the same purpose. It's not for sharing, um, you know, personal trips, personal, it has to be with everything professional, right? At, at least it should be. And LinkedIn carries artificial intelligence. So what does that mean? It means that it triggers according to your search preferences, right? According to your indicated career, what you're searching for, that artificial intelligence gives you, you know, suggestions. It uh, presents job opportunities to you and uh, it's very beneficial. It also shares professional information, right? So you can see various companies, various CEOs, it shares all the professional backgrounds, you know, of those who share it, of course. And it gives you job recommendations. So uh, I know if you go through your messages, it'll tell you, oh, this, this company um, is a good fit for you, right? So it, it kind of merges your expertise and your uh, experience with the jobs that are out there on LinkedIn, which is very, very, very convenient when you're on a job search. So let's move on. So with Indeed, Indeed is a search engine. Just think of like the Google of job searches, right? Indeed is more of a meta search engine for job listings. So you can, any job listing that you can think of, it's there. And uh, a lot, lots of people uh, do use Indeed and prefer Indeed over LinkedIn, which we'll cover in the next slide. So. It also provides salary data. So I didn't know this personally, but you can look up salary data, right? Um, if you're getting paid a decent amount, if other, other positions related to yours are getting paid the same amount or not, right? So you can compare and contrast. You can um, see local and small business job posts as opposed to, you know, LinkedIn, which focuses more on the bigger companies, but uh, and Indeed, you can find up to, you know, any small business, anyone can post on Indeed, right? So um, you can also find a search for a specific position. So you can be very specific with your searches and it'll focus solely on the jobs that are out there and available for you. Okay, and in addition to that, there's a resume storage. So if you guys are aware, you can upload your resume and it'll format it for you as you know your profile and as soon as you upload it it'll kind of categorize it under different categories and it'll be as your resume right as your profile so people can go in and see your resume what experience you have and all of the above right so here is a little uh visual of what these platforms are like because there's a lot of platforms that can help you look for jobs or or assist you in you know career building 
but indeed seems to be where indeed seems to be the most preferable in other words and just because it's the most preferable doesn't mean we should solely focus on indeed right but my recommendation is for you guys to go out there to expose yourself to sell you know your expertise on as many platforms as possible but today we're going to focus on indeed and linkedin and even though linkedin is here at the bottom not at the bottom but it's one two three four five number five right it's number five on the list it doesn't mean it's not beneficial it just means that not a lot of people are taking advantage of linkedin right because linkedin it requires more work it it requires more writing you know more uploading um things right but it's very beneficial if you want to work for a specific company that has a good reputation right so i do recommend using as many platforms but most of all indeed and linkedin um linkedin can be very beneficial okay so let's move on already so linkedin and i just gave you guys um my own my own um, example just so i can walk you through so the first is always use a professional headshot so if you currently have a linkedin and it's not so professional if it's not because they 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 recommend not to put your typical profile picture right on a linkedin they recommend you put a professional one one that you wouldn't use on social media you know on instagram none of that you should be able to use a professional headshot that gives a clear view of you a professional side of you right and um also you would update your personal description to fit your your career goals or your current career right so before i had a student success architect here which is what i am now i had a like future administrative uh, assistant right or future whatever it is that you're aspiring to be, put it there. So that whenever somebody goes after your profile, they see, oh man, this, this person is aspiring to be what I'm looking for, right? So that'll stand out. And remember SEO, so search engine optimization. When, when you know, recruiters start to search on LinkedIn, you'll pop up because you're including their, their interests in your page. So use SEO keywords. And where do you use these SEO keywords? You see, there's an about section. There's a, there's a section where you can put all of your work history. It's not like a resume. You put little snippets so that you won't give them all the information all at once, right? You'll keep them interested. But this is basically like a, an overview of who you are, the experience that you have. Most of all, I will show you right now. I encourage you get endorsed with all of your skills with all of your um, expertise get endorsed by your friends by your colleagues by your managers right and most of all linkedin is to network to build connections to be able to reach out to professionals and um, connect connect with different companies that will open doors to the job of your dreams right so endorsements this is what it will look like the endorsements um, you'll see here that anyone can endorse you as long as they're on LinkedIn. And it's kind of like a backup to say, yeah, this person is an expert in this. This person does have, you know, sk a skill set in this and this area, right? It'll back you up and it'll make you more credible because not only are you just listing your skill set, but you have people backing up what you're saying, which will make it more credible, more, you know, more, more trusting. And apart from the endorsements, there are also various job opportunities if you take the time and look through the feed. So, you know, just as you look through your feed on Instagram, on Facebook, you can look through your feed on LinkedIn and find those job opportunities, find those job openings, right, that are not available to everyone. These are available to people that are on LinkedIn, active on LinkedIn, you know, and all of the above. So right here, you can see Tesla, I took a screenshot of this. And um, it says, join the Tesla team, and it provides you with a, a specific link, right, through their LinkedIn. So that is advantageous. That is 
something that not everyone has access to, right? So I recommend you guys make the most out of LinkedIn. So indeed, indeed. And, be, and well, at the end, I'll, I'll hold it off for questions. But for now, we're going to move on to Indeed, right? Indeed is a little different, right? It's somewhere where, like I said, you can upload your resume and all of your details are there so that the recruiter can literally go on your profile and all they see is your resume and all of your skills, right? Um, so you can take skills assessments in where you prove to that recruiter that you're actually an expert in that area uh, Again, it's not you just listing your skills. It's about taking those skill assessments that in, Indeed offers and saying, look, I took a test. I'm actually good at this, right? So that backs you up. And you can search and compare salaries. Like I said, you can search, you know, whatever it is position that you're in now or a position that you aspire, you can start looking up salaries to see if that is your indicated position or if you're getting paid the fair amount, right? So that's a good resource and you can read company reviews. So on the site, you can look up any company, say Apple, say, you know, California Intercontinental University, you can look up any company and it'll not all companies have the reviews, but most do. So it's very useful. You can see if that's a company that you're, you see yourself in according to the reviews, right? Or if that's a company that you really, really um, aspire to be in after reading you know, what employees uh, review on there. So this is what a little snippet of what um, the resume looks like. You have an opportunity to upload your resume or replace, right? So you can even download it, share a link to the resume. Instead of, instead of sharing the whole resume with like a recruiter, you can send them the link to, to this resume. And this is how it looks. It basically looks like a resume, right? It looks like a resume and you're, uploading it onto Indeed. So, alrighty, so right here on the assessments, you can see, these are my personal assessments, right? Um, I took the HR composite compensation and benefits and I was highly proficient, which I showed that to my employers, right? Attention to detail because I knew, right? That I'm very atten attentive to all details, which I scored, right? Uh, highly proficient and then a, another attention to detail. I don't know why it's there, but um, recruiting, I didn't score so well, so I did not show it to my employers. Okay. So recruiting could stay there and um, you could see here the, the search and comparing salaries. This is what it looks like, right? This is what it looks like. You can enter a company a, a job title and it'll show you, it'll show you the, the expected salary ranges. Okay, so before we go over the takeaways, was there anything that you wanted me to expand on on either Indeed or LinkedIn? Anyone? Okay, so. If you guys have any questions, feel free. Unmute yourselves. Let me know. Let me know. Um, so the takeaways are these. Indeed is a meta search engine. Remember, I want you guys to utilize each platform according to the individual benefits that each offer, right? We, we don't want to use Indeed as LinkedIn or LinkedIn as Indeed. We want to use each, use the maximum benefits out of each platform. So Indeed is used more of a, you know, job listing, job listing meta search engine, right? So use it accordingly. And if you're just trying to look for openings or what's available to you, then you can do that. Um, remember that uh, to upload your resume and take assessments. So not only uploading your resume, but take your assessments to back up your skill set, right? Um, and remember that LinkedIn is a networking platform. So not only is it like um, link, I mean, Indeed, that just allows you to search for all these job listings, but it allows you to connect with professionals. It allows you to um, look at 
into their interests and use those keywords into your own profile. So that leads us to using SEO keywords and using SEO keywords just means, you know, looking, looking into this company, looking into what they're seeking, what they're looking for and using those keywords, not only in your resume, but on your LinkedIn carrying it over to your LinkedIn, right? In our resume workshop, we talk more about using keywords as well. Um, according to the job that you're interested in, that's what you're going to use on your LinkedIn. So that whenever a recruiter is looking and searching on LinkedIn, your profile can appear as one of their options, which is a search engine optimization. And they can, they can find you through the keywords that you used, you know, according to what they're looking for. So number five is personalize your profile. Personalize it as best as you can. Add your own um, unique style to it. Of course, always be professional. And number six is make the best of both, right? Extract the best, uh, the best benefits of both. Know how to use them. And, um, and that's it. So I'm not sure if anyone had any questions. Let me see, it is 2.21. So we do have nine minutes and um, I can answer any questions or I can, you know, guide you guys, take you on like a little walkthrough of either Indeed or. I have a, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good, good. Um, is it possible to, to, to uh, integrate this Indeed with an HR, HR human resources solution, is it possible? Indeed, as in when, as when you're listing a job or when you're looking for a job? Uh, when, uh, when for recruiters, for, 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 it, for an HR managers, HR manager, is it possible? Because uh, I'm just looking at a way where uh, I have a solution I have HR solution in house, so and I want to recruit. I want to recruit. Uh, uh, I want to recruit for a particular solution. I mean position. So instead of me of of, of the HR manager uh, going and be looking for uh, for for that person one by one. I mean with my HR solution I have in house. And I just, I mean, integrate it and I feature out all the, I get all the, all the, all the, all the applicants that qualify right in my HR solution, then I'm good to go. Is it possible? Because I know that with LinkedIn, I mean, you can, it's possible. I know that. Yes, you can. I mean, I'm not sure if you've ever posted on Indeed, but you have those two options. You can either upload your own resume and search for job listings. And I also know that, you know, that that's where all the companies um, are at. Because like I said, even the smallest business can post on there. And even the smallest business, you are able to see if they're available, if they're looking right. So yes, of course, you can post on there on both ends. You can post on there as you are searching for a job or you can post as an, an HR manager, like you said if you are recruiting or if you are looking for hires onto your business or small business, then definitely Indeed is an open site. Like I said, it's a meta search engine, so it's useful to anyone and it's open to anything, right? All right, thank you. Thank you for the presentation, that was good. All right, is there any other questions? I did want to give you guys a little walkthrough of, I did have the, and I had to make some corrections on mines as well. So I was learning as I went, right? What I, re what I recommend for you guys to do is edit your public profile and you are out because look, you can personalize your LinkedIn. You can add your name. You know, I added my birth year. I added my phone number. Um, and you can personalize it so that when recruiters go on your site and they say, man, she's a good candidate or he's a good candidate, they can reach out and say, oh, look, here, here's her contact info. 
here is her uh, his contact info, right? And you make yourself accessible. So I recommend you guys updating your contact info, your LinkedIn that you share with other people. You can include your name in there. Okay. So uh, th that is one high recommendation from me to you. Um, and you're about, this is where you can include your SEO. So including things that are attractable, attractive to other companies that you want to attract, right? You can stand out among the rest and, and start to include, like me, I put, I'm an academic professional seeking continu continuous growth. So little things like uh, taking on projects and you can just show off your skill set, right? Have people read about you and say, wow, she is a, a good candidate or he is, right? Right here on the featured part, you can upload your, your own work and what, you, uh, what you've worked on the projects that you have fulfilled, right? So for example, if you guys connect with me, <laughs> so be, feel free to look me up on LinkedIn. I am happy to connect with you, Myra Rodriguez, right? And that's where you'll, you'll find the professional preparation part one um, of the resume workshop. You'll find these blogs that I've worked on. So anything that you've worked on personally, you can post here and you can show those, those people seeking uh, professionals, you know, you can show them what you've worked on, right? Um, and other than that, like I said, don't put much under your experience. Just give them enough for them to want to know more. So, um, and you can also take quizzes here, like to back up your skill set as well. So that is that. And this is what the ended resume looks like for me. Um, you can add so many skills on here. I think I went a little over, but you can never do too much. And you can include your LinkedIn here so you can merge and have them hop from your Indeed to your LinkedIn, which is very advantageous as well. And you see, you can see all the assessments I've taken. And then I just wanted to show you a little uh, bit of the messages that you get. Like it recommends an opening. You can decline or you can accept and you have people constantly sending you messages according to uh, your job titles to your resume, right? It recommends you all of these things. So uh, just wanted to walk you through before, I mean, before that, I mean, I know that's pretty much it on my side, but I wanna make sure you guys clear, clear all of your doubts, all of your questions before we end. Okay, so our next, and by the way, I will be sending you all of the resources that I used to gather all of this information. For example, like uh, any, and we have 10 minutes. Okay, like any, any ref references that I use, um, any articles, all of the above any YouTube videos I will send to you guys who have attended, right? So that you can have all of that at hand to you. But guess what? Our next professional preparation is going to be based on interview skills. So your interview skills, we're going to practice. And um, I'm going to be sending you guys this layout and where you can practice your, your interviewing skills, right? So if you guys take this challenge, which is here, you will sell yourself in 30 days, right? Which is basically what interviewing is about. And every day, the goal is to record a, either an audio or a video, upload it to your social media, tag us with CIU 30 day, and basically answer one question a day. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to do every single day. You can do like maybe at least, you know, every other day or like once a week, you can take on one question. The point is, we want to see you succeed. We want to take you to the next level. You know, all the resources that we are providing here to you is for you to be successful after your career, after your degree, right? So this is what we're aiming for, for your success. So be attentive to the resources I will be sending you. And if you want to take on that 30 day challenge with all those questions, 
and then do so because that'll be very much practice for you and your professional um, experience. But if no other questions, I would like to wrap it up here and um, see you guys next time, as long as there are no other questions for me. Alrighty, so Judy, Kemi, it was nice to have you here with us. Thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you guys uh, next time for the following resume workshop. Yeah. yeah. All right.